Hi, welcome to the 46 core setup for Mr. Well, one of the first things we should always do whenever putting in a new core is make sure we have the latest Mr. Core. So go to this website and then click on the latest date of Mr. and download the core. And then copy that to your SD card. Mine is in drive E. Apparently I've done this before, so I just replace it. Now the next thing you should do is make a copy of that core that you just downloaded. Delete the file that's called Mr. and rename that file that you downloaded or that you copied to Mr. Now you'll be running the latest core. Now to get the uh, 486 core, we want to uh, go to the wiki. So go to this location and on the right hand side you'll see all the cores. And the core we want for the 486 is called AO486. Go to the releases folder and find the latest core for the 486. Download it and save it and also copy it to your SD card. However, this time you will not need to rename it. In fact, it's recommended you don't. That way you can go back to older cores in case something is wrong with the latest core. The next thing we need to do is create a new folder called AO486. Going back to our browser, we want to go to the, uh, the root of the AO486 MISTER site and we need to download boot0.rom and boot1.rom and copy it, copy those files to the AO486 folder. Now you need to uh, get some games to put on that, uh, that in that directory. .img files are uh, floppy disk images. So I recommend getting uh, the DOS 6.6 image and any other game. Uh, and I won't tell you where to get those images. That's an exercise for you. Once those files are on there, we should also probably create a uh, virtual hard drive. Creating a hard drive is quite easy. All you have to do is take any file, copy it to that directory, uh, rename it so that the extension ends in VHD or virtual hard drive. And uh, depending on the size of the file is the size of the hard drive. Now let's go to our machine after we safely eject and boot up our system. Okay, a couple of things I want to point out to you before we get started. First of all, you should have a heat sink at the very least on the FPGA because it gets freaking hot. Uh, there's two buttons down here. Uh, the button to the extreme right 
is the uh, menu button and the other button is the reset button. You'll be needing those when running the 46 uh, core. All right, keep those in mind. So I'm going to uh, put on my wireless keyboard. Put on my wireless keyboard. I'm turning on the monitor. I'm plugging in the HDMI cable. And now I'm plugging in the power. You remembered to put in your SD card, didn't you? We choose the A486 core and it complains because there's no bootable devices. Now at this point you have to push that right button. It's difficult to get to. And mount a floppy. I'm going to mount the 622 DOS 6.22 version C. Now, if you press the other button, that's the reset button. Okay. Let's load another floppy image. We're going to mount the Shadowlands disk and take a directory and type shadow and we'll say we're running a VGA card and there we go, we're running. You have to use your uh, keyboard to select items here, and the and the spacebar to actually activate something. Anyway, that's just showing that you can actually load an image. I'm going to reset the machine again. Oh, the Shadowlands disk is not bootable. So let's load our 622 disk again and do a reset. Remember we made that uh, virtual hard disk? Well, it doesn't show up. Why don't we try and load it? Reset. So right now it's booting off the floppy. There's no hard disk yet. That's because we have to do the old F disk. We have to uh, create a partition. Let's do that F disk. Press enter. Create a partition. Use all the space. Press escape. Let's make sure we're let's set that partition active. And it is. And we'll escape out. It'll ask us to reboot. We're booting off our floppy disk. We have a drive C. We do, but it's got nothing on it. So format C slash S to add the system to it.
and we'll call it hard drive. Now we should be able to uh, boot off that disk too. So if we bring up the menu again, oh, push the wrong button. Bring up the menu. Change our boot order so it boots off the hard disk first. Reset. And now we're booting from the hard disk. to it.